What's good, YouTube? Mr. Ant-Man816 himself, uh, filming this video for the eighth time, so I'm really fucking irritated. So we're gonna get into this, I hate doing videos irritated, but I don't feel good, so I'm trying to get this video out to you guys. So, please bear with me, and we're gonna make this video as short as possible. So, Yu-Gi-Oh! Combos, episode 6. So the reason why it's episode 6 is because we're talking about dancing in the frozen tundra. Yes, that means... Uh, Dance Princess of the Ice Barrier. Now, this card is extremely freaking hard to find. Like, it's so freaking hard to find. It's ridiculous. It came out in Star Trek Blast. One of the sets that had no special edition and no other really reprints. Except we're in a Walmart Dragoon D stru uh, structure deck selling anything. And that was only three packs each. So, I mean, Dance Princess is like uber hard to find. And, and sometimes people hold on to them and make them expensive. So, reason why it's so good. Alright, if you don't know what it is, it stats is water, level 4, spellcaster. When you control another ice barrier, you reveal ice barriers from your hand. However many you reveal is how many cards you can bounce from your opponent's spell and trap card zone back to their hand. It's a giant true nade. Now, the deck list I previously posted, of course you can chain up the trap lineup. And tweak it however you fit. But you would add the two dance pieces in by taking out the shock trooper and the royal knight, moving them to the side deck. Now, the reason why this card is so good in the ice barrier is because the combos are ridiculous. Summon it, summon a prior, you have two other ice barrier or three other ice barrier monsters, hand your opponent face down. You're able to show them, bounce them three. And then the fourth card in hand could be a, uh, uh, the magic ice barrier magic triangle card. Where you reveal three ice barriers, pop their cards, and then you summon another ice barrier from your hand. And of course, it can't be really level five or higher because of prior. But then, if you have another prior in hand, you able to go prior, gotcha, gotcha, and then it just sets up for plays for days. Now, there's other combos you can make with it, just simply with Gontala keeping it on board, keeping ice barriers in hand to make sure whatever spells and traps they're setting, you bounce them, and whatever removal you get, you remove certain cards you just feel like. Might need to be ruined because you keep bouncing uh, your opponent's cards in hand and you're going to make them frustrated. I don't know how many people I've dueled who get frustrated and they will quickly either throw the duel or they will make the biggest misplays or the stupidest misplays. And it's just like, well, if you're going to get that angry over the game, then you're going to make this misplay. So I deserve to win because you're not trying to win. You're trying to lose. It's like ridiculous how people uh, act like that. So, guys, this is probably going to be my last video on Ice Barriers. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Uh, I'll probably have another video of more different topics net tomorrow. Um, I might be doing my videos uh, every other day. So, it just depends on if I'm able to film a video or not. But, until I can get the computer thing back up and running, get everything situated, get everything figured out. This is Ant-Man 816. There's always a move to make. Later, YouTube.